we will become 10 to 12 billion people on this earth. That is a lot. But it is also good news because I believe that now where we know how many people we will become, we know what the challenge is we have to face. We have to face the challenge to co-create a world where 10 to 12 billion people of us can live in peace, in freedom and in a world of ecological health and abundancy so that for all needs is cared for. The Co-Creation Foundation will be founded to ask exactly this question. How can we co-create this world? Hi, my name is Yasha Rohr. I'm a philosopher and a social entrepreneur. I'm co-director of the Institute for Participatory Design and now I'm founding the Co-Creation Foundation. Now, what is the Co-Creation Foundation exactly about? As I said, it is about co-creating our world and we feel there is a huge relevance for it and this is a moment of history. Because the way how international politics uh, is done at the moment is um, through diplomacy, through maybe public debate, but not even that so much, more through diplomatic negotiation. What does that mean? That means that if we look for solutions on an international level, if we want to create policies or treaties where all nations of this world um, partake, then our diplomats and politicians will sit together. They already know what they want to achieve and they sit together to negotiate about how to best achieve their goals so that everyone make some compromise and that everyone at the end is happy in a way about this negotiation result. You can see that for example if you follow the climate conferences or maybe you have followed the Brexit negotiations or you have followed some negotiations of trade agreements, of international trade agreements. You can always see what's happening. There are delegations from both sides or from multiple sides they come together, they already know what they want to contribute to an agreement and they know what they want to get out of an agreement. They sit together and they negotiate the agreement until some common ground is found. But is that sufficient for tackling our world's problems at the moment? Well, I believe it is not. Because what is completely lacking is what in business or social business would be called the, the, the innovation, the design of the solutions and concepts we actually want to apply to our problems, the, the, the answers to our challenges. Again, take climate change for example. Um, we can maybe agree on a 1.5 or 2 degree uh, rise in temperature. But then every nation, every state has to find, find their own solutions. So the solutions to the problem climate change are not, change are not part of the agreement. Um, that has certain r reasons. Uh, logical reasons for how diplomacy and negotiations work. But what is needed at this time in history, that is at least my, uh, my, my deep conviction, what is needed at the moment is that we find the best possible solutions, concepts, projects with which we as a global community can tackle 
problems or challenges like the climate change or like plastic in the oceans. It doesn't, it's not sufficient to explain what intention we have as a global community. It is not sufficient to talk about the goals we want to achieve as a global community. But we need to concretely and tangibly formulate our solutions and how we want to implement solutions. And that is a process not of negotiation, but that is a process of collaboration and co-creation. It is a co-creative process. That means we have to innovate. We have to brainstorm. We have to plan, to map, to prototype. We really have to develop solutions in policy, in projects, and so on and so on. And this at the moment is not part of how we govern ourselves globally. And exactly in this gap, we want to step as the Co-Creation Foundation. We want to enhance global politics and even further, even more than that, global governance through the whole, with the whole aspect of creating solutions together so that we can implement on a common strategy. And for this, we from the Co-Creation Foundation feel that it is needed that we find different approaches and processes of how we collaborate and co-create on a global scale. And the Co-Creation Foundation is about exploring, about doing research, about starting a discourse, a global discourse, and about prototyping processes and projects of global co-creation. Because, to be honest, I don't know, and I would say at the moment no one in the world knows how this co-creative global governance could look like, what kind of processes we need, how we synchronize our ideas, what kind of governance structures we need, maybe even what kind of institutions or new treaties we need. No one knows that. Um, but our challenges and problems at the moment are so severe that we really have to start asking these questions. And that is what the Co-Creation Foundation is about. There are a couple of things we already know about global co-creation. Why? Well, because we know a lot about local co-creation, about processes of public particip participation, of civic engagement. We know a lot about group processes of innovation and creativity. We know about um, how to uh, do processes of reconciliation and trauma healing. We know how to develop and to define and to innovate on social issues. There is something like democratic innovation and policy innovation. We are experimenting already on all kinds of levels on these things, but we haven't consistently and with a lot of effort try to bring this on a global level. And the problems we face today, again, climate change being the best example for this, are so complex and in every aspect global that I believe and we believe at the Foundation we can only tackle global change by a powerful and innovative process of global co-creative governance. 
So, we believe this work is very relevant and important and we have to start thinking about these issues now. We have to start asking the right questions now. We have to put our energy, our knowledge, our wisdom, our science, the facts, our whole potential as, as individuals and as community to work to find solutions of how we can co-create for our global challenges. And this is what the Co-Creation Foundation is about. This is, this is the work we want to start now. We will slowly grow and enlarge the circles of participation for these projects. We have three projects already un underway. One is the Global Resonance Project, a project where we start the discourse and sow the seeds of global co-creation. The second one is called Co-Creating Climate Change and we're starting at the moment with an analysis of the governance process of climate change as it is now so that we can then go into a procedural design uh, to enhance this process and we are thinking about uh, online tools which help to facilitate processes of global co-creation. Um, if you are interested in this, if you think this is really relevant, if you think this work should be done, then please subscribe to this uh, vlog here to this channel um, and the Global Resonance Projects channel. Subscribe to our newsletter and just by any means get in touch with us uh, through our website, for example. At the moment, we're still looking for funding. Of course, we're just starting off. We have a good foundational basis, but we still need some uh, donations for our work. And of course, we are looking for the most forward-thinking and avant-garde intellectuals, artists, activists, politicians who think they can contribute to this challenge, to our mission to start thinking and designing for global co-creative governance. So please stay tuned, get in touch with us, and I hope to see you on this channel. Make some comments if you want and I'll try to get in touch with you. Thank you very much.